Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm very excited to announce that we have a new update for our flagship plugin, AutoTune Pro X version 10.1. This new update provides ARA2 compatibility to Studio One and Logic Pro X. In this video, I'm gonna show you how the ARA2 function works inside of Studio One and how it speeds up your AutoTune workflow. So let's dive in. And here we are on my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Studio One. And have a session here I'm working on. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And you're going to see here, I got a bunch of tracks here, vocals, some backing tracks, um, some drums. But I'm going to concentrate on this backing track for today's example. So what we wanted to do is go over to Effects. We're going to scroll down to Autotune Pro. You're going to see this one says audio units. This is not the one you want. You want the one that says VST3. But to open up the ARA2 version, you want to hold down Option on your keyboard and then drag the plugin onto the track. And you're going to see that it opens up automatically in graph mode. You're going to see ARA mode here. And the first big thing you're going to see is I'm going to hit spacebar. And instantaneously, all the information on that vocal is now loaded into graph mode. And it's the whole track. Before, you would need to track that information into the Autotune Pro in real time. And depending on if that's a two-minute track, five-minute track, ten-minute track, it takes that amount of time to get that information into Autotune. Now with ARA2, it is automatic. It is instantaneous. A massive time saver. Now, the next big thing you're going to see with ARA2 is you can now click on the timeline in graph mode, and you're going to see it is now reflected one-to-one -one inside of Studio One. I can move down to the end of a track, and all that information on the track is moved in real time in the DAW. So you can stay on auto-tune and inside of graph mode and not need to go back and forth anymore. You can just concentrate on the vocal you're working on, and that's all you need to do. And this third great example of time saving and an advantage of ARA2 inside of Autotune is now you can make loop points right inside of graph mode. And this is a massive time saver, especially if you're just zooming in on a vocal that you want to tune, you can make the adjustments. And not only can you see it happen in real time, but you can stay right on that section and you can concentrate just on the vocal you're trying to tune instead of jumping back and forth between the DAW. I hope this video was helpful with showing how to use the new ARA2 function with Autotune Pro X inside of Studio One. Check out our other videos and have a great day.